as soon as when we touch that water, like you never know like what's gonna happen. Any type of wave is always scary. It doesn't matter how big or how small, anything could happen at any given time. That fear is always there. Getting held down by one of those waves is super violent. You have no control of where you're going, up, down, left, or right. You're going unconscious, guaranteed, within 45 seconds because you get stuck in the turbulence. It's almost like being in a washing machine. There's nothing you can do. It's going to stop when it wants to stop. If someone's out there saying they're not scared, they're 100% lying. Maui is like no other place. Growing up with our family, that's we're all outdoors people, either at the beach, in the mountains, waterfalls. When Deke and I were growing up, our parents, instead of grounding us and keeping us inside of the house, they would tell us, go outside and play and come back in a couple hours. That was kind of our punishment, which wasn't too bad. When we were younger, before we would go surf, we wouldn't even tell our parents what we were gonna do just because we wouldn't want our mom to worry all day. And that's kind of how it started too, because I, just seeing my mom and my dad worry really kind of put it in the gear, like, hey, we're out here having fun, but let's like, let's not blow it, let's not do something so out of this world where one of us gets hurt, and then if we do get hurt, think of how we're gonna get one of us out. The one who got us into what we're doing today is Batiste, our old neighbor. We met Batiste when we were young kids, and he was the first person to take us to Jaws. Being young little boys, seeing them like, whoa, this guy is a legend. Like, always going on some crazy adventure, and, and he was always the nicest, person to everybody always. As the years gone by, we became closer with him and our family loved him. And he, he's like, he is a part of our family. We consider him our brother. He always took us to the beach, always took us adventuring, and always was there for us. When Sean and I were 16, we are surfing with Batiste in Tahiti when he went down. I could see as I got closer, Sean was Sean was holding him from the back and he was hanging on to the, his board, screaming, like, like squeezing his board until like his nails were almost folding back. And he's not looking at me, he's not looking at anyone, he's like looking straight out. And then he said, I can't feel my legs, my back is broken. On that day, Batiste was paralyzed. To this day, he's still in a wheelchair. He lives in Tahiti. Our connection with each other, like, that's never changed. It never changed. Batiste is a huge inspiration to our life. That made me feel like this is why I want to train and get better at helping people and saving people. We're constantly feel like we have these opportunities to travel and go to these seminars and learn from these experts. And we feel like we can gain it all, and that's awesome. They like take these bits and pieces we've learned from all over the world, from all these military professionals, doctors, but we want to share it to everyone else too. We like to influence people because like, they can save someone else or they can help someone in a situation. We help train everyone from first responders to school children on basic life-saving techniques and ocean safety. We, we teach them about currents, tides, wind direction, basic life-saving techniques, how to approach someone if someone is in panicking. I definitely feel like being a twin helps us on the water. Like we don't even need to talk or even look at each other. We can understand each other's, you know, like gestures and movements, that sense of we can work together and be able to work as a team. The best thing ever is knowing someone we trained had the knowledge to save a life. I'll do this in my entire life. Yeah. I'm the same. I never stop.